Hey guys, so this is Strega Nona Meets Her Match by Tommy De Paola, and I chose this book today because just this week Tommy fell and hit his head and he passed away, and so I want to honor him by doing a few books from him for the next few days. Okay, so Strega Nona Meets Her Match. Nothing much happened in the little town of Calabria, where Striganona lived. At least nothing had happened since, since Big Anthony had left Striganona's magic pasta pot alone. Bambalona, the baker's daughter, was learning how to become a Strega too. She listened to everything Striganona told her. Not like Big Anthony, who never listened to anyone. Bambalona kept everything running smoothly. So life was peaceful in Streganona's little house on the hill. Then one day, a letter arrived for Streganona. It was from Strega Amelia, who lived on the other side of the mountain. Cara Streganona, the letter said, I would like to pay you a visit. Would next week be convenient? Please let me know. Amore baci, love and kisses, Strega Amelia. Strega Nona sat right down and wrote a letter telling Strega Amelia to come as soon as possible. Big Anthony and Bambalona helped Strega Nona get the house ready. They swept and polished and they shook out the sheets. I have so few visitors to stay, my children, Strega Nona told them. It will be wonderful to have company. And Big Anthony, please try to behave and pay attention while Strega Amelia is here. Ah, see, Strega Nona, Big Anthony answered. I'll be so good you won't recognize me. I'll believe that when I see it, Bambalona whispered to Strega Nona. Shh, now be nice, Bambalona, Strega Nona whispered back. Ciao, Cara. Strega Amelia called as she reached the top of the hill. Oh, my dear friend, Strega Nona said. Avanti, avanti. Come in, come in. The two Stregas sat right down, put their heads together, and talked and laughed and gossiped until Bambalona came and stood in the doorway. Ah, oh, now, dear Amelia, Strega Nona said. Bambalona has made a wonderful supper for us. Mangia, eat. The next morning, Strega Nona was busy helping the townspeople who came to her to cure their headaches, to find husbands, and to get rid of warts. Strega Amelia watched. Goodness, she said to Big Anthony. Strega Nona has un bueno numero de cliente, a great many customers. Is it always this way? Oh, see, answered Big Anthony answered. Sometimes it's even busier than this. Poor Le Amor de <laughs> Strega Amelia exclaimed. I see she still uses the old fashioned ways, too. Hmm, I'll have to think about this. The next day, Strega Amelia went home. Mm. Goodbye, Bambalona. Goodbye, Big Anthony. Strega Amelia called as she went down the hill. <laughs> Adio, Strega Amelia. Farewell, the three called back. <laughs> A week later, when Big Anthony was feeding the goat, he looked out over the hillside and saw several carts coming into town. Bambalona, he called. Come and look. Why... It looks like it is, Bambalona said. It's Strega Amelia. What's she up to? Let's ask Strega Nona, Big Anthony said. No, let's go down and find out, Bambalona said. And they crept down the hill to see for themselves. They were back in no time. Strega Nona, Strega Nona, Bambalona and Big Anthony called all out of breath. What is it, my children? Strega Nona asked. You'll never guess. Read this. Bambalona handed Strega Nona a hand. <laughs> Opening to 
tomorrow. Striga Amelia's helpful services. Husbands found for young ladies. Headaches cured. Warts removed. Other remedies. Latest scientific equipment. Free sweets and coffee with every visit. Well, Striga. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything to worry about. One by one, the townspeople started... Oop, I forgot. But Streganona was wrong. One by one, the townspeople started to go to Strega Amelia. Everyone got dolce, sweets, and cappuccino for paying a visit. And indeed, she had the latest scientific equipment. Strange-looking machines that did all kinds of things. The lines of people grew longer and longer. Streganona had met her match. Finally, one morning, not a single person came to Streganona's house. And it was that way for days and days. Poor Streganona. After three weeks, Streganona called in Bambalona and Big Anthony. My children, I must talk with you. Mi aborso, my purse is empty. I won't be able to pay you any more. I'm afraid there is no work here. You must go down to the town and see what you can find. And Streganona went back into her little house. The next morning, Bambalona was there as usual. My papa can use some help in the bakery, Streganona, so I'll be all right. And I'll be able to come by a few days a week to help you too. Oh, my sweet Bambalona. You are so good, Streganona told her. But what about Big Anthony? Here he comes now, Bambalona said. <laughs> oh, Streganona, Bambalona, you'll never guess. I have a new job, Big Anthony shouted, all smiles. You don't have to sound so happy about it, Bambalona scowled. Now, now, Streganona said. Tell us, Big Anthony, what is it? I'm going to work for Strega Amelia, Big Anthony exclaimed. You're what? Bambalona screamed. Stop, stop, yelled Big Anthony. Yes, Bambalona, stop, Streganona said. I think that is a one think that is wonderful, Big Anthony. When do you start? Today, Streganona, I have to run there right now. Wish me luck, Big Anthony said, as he turned and ran down the hill. Buena fortuna. Good luck, Streganona called after him. How could he? How could he? The big ungrateful traitor, Bambalona fumed. Oh, Big Anthony, you are such a help to me, Strega Amelia exclaimed, as Big Anthony followed her around doing exactly what he was told. He polished the husband and wife machine. He filled up the wart cream jars. He stirred the hair restorer in the big pot on the stove. Well, Big Anthony, business is booming, Strega Amelia remarked one morning. I had a feeling that people would like the modern ways, especially my headache machine. And now that you have been here for a few weeks, I'm going to leave you in charge for a few days while I go over the mountain to get the rest of my equipment. Now sit and listen carefully while I explain how to run everything. Big Anthony smiled. He was in charge. The first day, he ran the husband and wife machine backwards. The second day, he confused the wart cream with the hair restorer. <laughs> he's got hairy wart on his nose. <laughs> And he's got warts on his head. Hmm. Things weren't going too well. On the third day, the mayor arrived. Buena giorno, senor mayor, Big Anthony said. What can I do for you? Oh, Big Anthony, the mayor groaned. I have a terrible headache. Strega Amelia's machine is a wonder. Strap me in. Big Anthony settled the mayor in the headache machine and picked up the diagram that showed how to work it. He looked at the diagram. It was very complicated, and it was upside down. Number one is on the bottom. 
<laughs> the next morning, all the townspeople were back at Streganona's. The mayor was the first in line. Bambalona, Streganona said. Run down and get Big Anthony. We need him. When the carts came over the mountain with Strega Amelia in the front, the townspeople were waiting at the town gate. I am sorry, the mayor told Strega Amelia, but we all agree that we prefer the old ways. Our own Strega Nona is enough for us. We hope you have no hard feelings. Arrivederci, Strega Amelia, Strega Nona said. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. Arrivederci, Strega Nona, Strega Amelia said. I must admit I am surprised. Everything was going so well. And as for your big Anthony, I know you've had trouble with him, but I must tell you, I couldn't have done it without him. He was such a big help. He certainly was, Strega Nona said with a smile. So that was Stregonona meets her match.